Isabella? Do I know you? Hey, Isabella. Ugh, him I know. Buford, what do you want? I thought you were resisting us. I was helping Candace's brothers cross the street. Candace has two sets of twin brothers? Uh, no. He and I are from another dimension. We're trying to get back. All right, girls, release them. Why would you want to come to this dimension anyway? Well, we didn't mean to come here. Now we can't get back unless we can fix this device. Well, we may have someone who can help you. Dr. Baljeet. Baljeet! That's Dr. Baljeet to you. Are you not listening? Here is the crux of your problem. Think of the universe and all of the many dimensions as circular. The energy flows between the dimensions like this, clockwise. Say this is your dimension and this is our dimension. You travel with the flow of energy, so going clockwise would be easy. Going counterclockwise would take 8 million gigawatts of energy overloading the local power grid. I have prepared a little song to help illustrate my point. If you travel through dimensions, going clockwise makes it easy. Going counterclockwise would take 8 million gigawatts of energy overloading the local power grid. I know, it needs a chorus. Anyway, without the 8 million gigawatts, you would have to go clockwise the long way around. Theoretically, you would get home, but there is no telling how many dimensions you would have to go through. Well, do you think you can help us get enough power to open the window backwards so we can get home? Well, we should probably ask our leader. Ask your leader what? <laughs> Who made the topiary out of wild parsnips? I'm allergic, <laughs> and it's messing up my voice. Candace, you're the leader of the Resistance? What are you two <clears throat> doing here? Never mind, I'll deal with you later. You two. I've been spending all these years trying to keep my brothers safe, and suddenly their faces are all over the Doofin channel. We're just trying to get home. Well, what's stopping you? Right now, quantum physics. Balji? We need to generate 8 million gigawatts for interdimensional travel. Then we've got work to do. Isabella, start redirecting the power. Aye, aye. Gretchen, monitor the Doofin channel. Make sure we're not raising any alarms. I'm on it. Buford, keep resisting. No, excellent. And will somebody get rid of that topiary? <laughs> Thank you. Oh, great and powerful, mysterious force! I know you are just trying to protect my brothers, but I am simply trying to protect them too from their dangerous inventions. Show yourself so that I may reason with you. Maybe we should build a shrine to it. Yeah, that's ridiculous. <gasps> ah! It's, it's a mysterious, mysterious force! Ferb, I think we got it. It looks like home. What do we do now? I don't know. I can't believe it actually worked. Well, thanks, everyone. Hey, where's Pear? Oh, that's right. This just in. Our Supreme Leader has announced the capture of public enemy number one, Perry, the alternate dimension platypus. I guess we won't be seeing him anymore, except as a platyborg. It's 3.30. We now conclude our broadcast day. Now go to bed! <laughs>